guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ntabi if you don't know who I am so yeah welcome to the side of the internet so today I have filmed a quick like a very very quick video for you guys how to do your minute your makeup in 15 minutes so yeah you can put together this look in literally like 15 minutes depending on how fast you are obviously with uh, makeup and stuff so yeah, every single thing that you need to know will definitely, I mean, in terms of the, the, the products that I used, will be in the description box down below. And don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, just, yeah, watch the video to see how you can actually look really good without having to use foundation all over your face and, and concealer and contour and all that stuff. So, let's get into the video. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off by brushing up our eyebrow hairs you guys already know like i feel like there are like a million tutorials on like on how to do your eyebrows on youtube like this is kind of you know like unnecessary but whatever i'm gonna show you guys how i quickly do my makeup in 15 minutes or even less but i think 15 minutes is actually um as long as i take so i'm using this little brush i think i bought this from like this came like years ago so yeah and i just fill this up and then my next step is to take my concealer this is the rimmel london concealer and i'm gonna just carve out my brows And honestly, I normally feel like once your brows are done, you can actually get through your makeup routine very quickly because I feel like your brows take the most time. Now, the next thing we're going to do. Okay, so here's the thing that I do, right? I have moments when I genuinely do not want to put on like a lot of like foundation on my face or whatever. So what I do do is instead of me putting foundation over my face, I will literally just cover up my dark spots with foundation and or concealer whatever you want to use that's close enough to your 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 skin tone or whatever but before i do that i'm gonna go in with my nyx uh with my nyx pore filler primer i always use this product like all the time now i'm going to take my favorite foundation you guys already know if you've been watching my videos for a minute now you know that this is like my holy grail foundations from drugstores like the stuff is amazing it's absolutely amazing so um i'm just gonna quickly use one pump of this guys i'm so sad like i just and this is actually a lot like this is a lot i'm not gonna use most of this but like whatever i'm really sad because i just realized like before i started filming i just realized and then i'm gonna use like about two pumps of this but anyway i was saying hurry my footage got deleted like <sighs> what i do is you guys can already see right i have like these pimple marks or whatever because i scratch my pimples i'm that girl like i genuinely can't stand having bumps on my face um yeah you guys can see the marks that i have on my face right because god decides to punish us for not falling pregnant and we out here getting periods every single freaking month for not freaking falling pregnant but anyway, whatever, it's fine. So, um, that's what I do. Like, literally just on my spots. Now, what I am going to do, since I'm not going to be doing much on my, I'm not putting, like, foundation on my eyes or whatever, I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild uh, Mega Liner. This is like my favorite liquid eyeliner. I've been using this for years. I'm going to take that and I'm going to create a wing liner while I kind of wait for that foundation to get a little bit dry. Obviously, I'm doing like, I'm, I'm literally like multitasking. Why? Because I'm, I'm in a rush, right? Like, let's just pretend like I'm in a rush. So, we're just going to make a wing liner quickly. Okay, so now that I've done my wing liner, I think they, actually they don't look the same. <laughs> they actually don't. Um, 
my wing liners actually never really look the same i've been doing this for years but like there's always a small difference oh my god oh my god i just messed it up i should have just left it alone okay okay no we'll fix it we'll fix it let me just let it dry up and then i'll fix it so right now i'm gonna blend out my my um foundation sometimes um i really do prefer using my fingers because i don't know i feel like there's something your fingers do to your foundation that's just very like flawless like it gives you this really flawless look like it's just perfect you know and um i also think it's highly because of the fact that when you do use your fingers the heat of your of your fingers basically warms up the foundation and then it makes it melt into your skin or whatever so now i'm gonna put on my lashes and um i don't uh, i don't feel like putting on concealer like i i genuinely don't i'm gonna use my eyelure 117 um lashes like, like these are my favorite eye lure lashes uh i think this is dry now i want to fix it quickly okay i'm gonna use some of that foundation and i'm just gonna quickly fix that i'm just gonna now um put some eyelash glue on my lashes my eye lure lashes and yeah I'm going to be using the glue that I use all the time, which is my Eyler Lash Glue. And then I'm going to apply my, um, what do you call this thing? This thing. I'm going to apply my eyelash glue onto my lash line. This is something that I do all the time. Like, if you've been watching my videos long enough, I do that. Why? Because for me, I feel like that's the best way I can actually ensure that my lashes are not going to fall off or start lifting or doing dodgy, ratchet things. So, yeah, that's what I do. Sometimes you struggle to put on lashes. And when that happens, I feel like that glue that you've already put here acts as a... A guideline like as a um I don't know <laughs> my English is gone but like yeah it acts as like it's gonna it's gonna like your lash is gonna easily like attach or cling onto the glue there which is gonna make the application very perfect and very easy like I actually take like a few seconds to apply my lashes like I'm just like boom bam done like it, it's not that deep because why technique that's why oh I just do this right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my powder I'm gonna take my fit me powder in the shade cappuccino and I'm just gonna slightly bronze my face like just slightly I'm gonna use my essence mascara um, the lash princess mascara now I'm gonna quickly apply my lashes And literally do you see how easy that is it's so freaking easy like i have oily skin but i love dewy makeup i don't want to look dry and look like like i'm dehydrated and stuff so i'm not gonna set my face with setting powder i just don't feel like it but you can do it you can do it if you definitely want to and if you do want to do it then this powder which i literally filmed a video on this like i featured this powder and it the video is gone it's gone but you know what since the video is gone um i can just kind of show you like how to well you know you guys know how to use powder but like like just in jay for the sake of the video i'm going to take the black opal powder in the shade um neutral and don don it's neutral something i'll tell you what it is now now and i'm just gonna like put a little bit of it over here especially where i know Jorge, i tend to get very very oily this powder feels amazing you guys this black opal powder feels absolutely amazing it's got a soft velvet fin like finish like it feels really really good it feels so soft and it looks bomb on your skin also it comes in different shades i know they have like um like they got orange they got like a kind of like a yellow one if i'm not mistaken they got different shades of this powder i chose the neutral light 
this yeah that's the one that I chose neutral light and I really love this powder and um, it doesn't dry you out like if you look at me right now I don't look dry see I look hydrated I look like I drink water when I really don't but like it's not the point right let me actually remove this foundation before I regret it like I'm always getting foundation on my clothes because I always like I'm not the only person that forgets to remove foundation from like your your hands or whatever because yeah final step is lipstick I this is my one of my favorite lipsticks one of my favorite lipstick brands like period in general which is the Connie transform lipsticks like absolutely love 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 some of these i promise you like one thing that i've actually noticed is some of these fake lipsticks like and by fake i mean Jorge, it's not the authentic thing like it is lipstick obviously it's not like it's like water in the bottle it is lipstick but like it's not the actual kylie brand okay like it really isn't because if it was you wouldn't be getting the stuff for like 20 bucks i promise you like there's no real kylie jenner or, or huda huda beauty or um, anastasia beverly hills lipstick that you'll find for 20 rand in south africa i promise you like i i nice 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 like i promise you it's fake okay it's fake but it works that's just my point it's fake it's fake but it works and i it's like literally the most perfect red I've ever used in my life is the Kylie Jenner red lipstick. Nah, but I don't have it anymore. So I went to like, where was I? I think I was in Chinatown. I went to Chinatown specifically to go try to find that red lipstick from Kylie Jenner because there's something about fake lipstick, guys. Like there's something about fake lipstick that actually like it lost. Like it lost the entire day. The pigment is there the whole freaking day. It doesn't, you know, go off your lips or whatever. Like it's absolutely amazing. Now that I've lined my lips with the Connie Transform lipstick, I'm going to use the Beyonce After Show, which is my very fake Kylie Jenner lipstick. Um, if you don't want to like, you know, wear counterfeit makeup or whatever or counterfeit lip counterfeit lipstick you can definitely go to mac and get the ruby rue is it ruby rue or ruby woo yeah yeah and get that it's a really great like a nice red but like yeah like this is um what i use right now and this is this is it this is how you get ready in like 15 minutes chop chop you are good and out and ready to go this is the final look guys this is it this is it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and everything that you need to know in terms of the products that I used will be in the description box down below. So don't forget to like the comment. I mean, yo, ah, don't forget, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.